and here's our southwestern Benedict with Italian roasted potatoes air fried chicken breast diced tomatoes mushrooms bacon cheddar cheese hollandaise sauce chives and uh, it was supposed to be a poached egg with English muffin. Bon appetit. It's showtime. What time is it? 9.06. Sending Dad off to work, bringing out Tutu, and naturally, socks. Let's go. Oh, they were right about this camera. Before with the other camera, the other phone, it was so dark you couldn't see anything. Maybe because I was using the cartoon version. Oh well. Oops. My doggy bag. Just in case he poops. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Hey. No 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 no. Let's get. Let's get. Well, I didn't make it to my plans today. Um, there was an accident at Dad's work yesterday. So, he would have normally got off at 6.30, had to stay late. No, Tutu, you're not going to do that. No, I don't know what's there, but you can't have it. And uh, they've got these giant building-sized chillers at work to cool off the machines. They make plastic bottles. This company's nationwide. And I think Houston's the biggest plant. Of course, I can't name the name of the place, you know. He signed a non-disclosure. Not I, but just out of respect. It's a good paying company, but anyway... They had these contractors come out. It was a father and son duo. And I guess the son was just learning or something because uh, they were taking one of the pipes off and those pipes have hundreds of pounds of pressure at it and they were supposed to bleed the pressure out. I guess like you bleed brakes, tutu. Driving, driving me in circles. Anyway, he didn't lead that pressure out of it. And so when he disconnected that pipe, it just hit him. The pipe broke in half. He destroyed the chiller. And it knocked him off the building and he flew away without wings. Um knocked unconscious, couldn't hear. I hope he's doing well. But... And it wasn't really odd when you think about it, but he denied medical attention. Re refused ambulance. Usually when someone gets hurt on the job and they refuse medical care, it's usually because uh, it's drug related. Well, I hate to say that, but that's the truth of the matter. Because the first thing they would have done was drug test him. So, hopefully dad has some good insurance. Personally, I think that was the wrong decision. 
especially if it was his son, I would have made him go get medical care. They said they were going to seek it later, but we'll see. I remember those days. Just keep him awake. Just keep him awake. <laughs> Don't let him fall asleep. God, I can't remember. What is it? fell off of a moving tractor while it was going. Luckily, they don't go fast. Um, fell out of a speeding car with my uncle when I was in my aunt's lap. He was doing circles because he was mad. And my aunt was holding me and the door flew open and she just let go. <laughs> she had her seatbelt on like hey it's not my kid fucker <laughs> so there I went luckily I knew how to drop and roll but that was another time they kept me up let's not take them to the doctor let's just keep them up uh oh I left socks back there he's meowing oh did I leave you behind I'm sorry I'm rambling I'm going out of our zone huh But yeah, so he had to stay at work late. The time he came home it was like 11. He gets up at 6.30, so he's one of the first responders at work, so. And then about with, when that happened, nobody calls him, you know. it be like that but considering it was contractors they won't lose their safety days they're going on two year, years with no recordable accidents there's been some but once again they refused medical care so they didn't want to write it up They drug test you when you get in, but they don't afterwards. Once you're in, you're in like Flynn. It's really hard to get fired. Unless you point out. But anyway. What? Am I going too fast for you? Yes? What? What? I'm sorry. I'm wait for you. Normally he don't meow, meow on this time. So yeah, I've had a lot of brain trauma or head trauma. Yeah. hot out here. I feel a breeze now, but under it wasn't. What is it with you in that spot? No, no, no. Let's go. Let's go. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna eat for dinner. I made dad guess of the is. Come on, let's go. I can't see over there where he wants to go. And it's gonna make me step in something. So yeah, I made dad guess of the is. My daughter's boyfriend sent her something. Uh, what are those things that she likes? Those egg fried Chinese Asian patties. Uh, egg foo young. I'm probably going to eat a chicken salad or maybe some leftover raw because I'm not sure. It's just me. I 
I had a breakfast sandwich early this morning, but that's all I've eaten today. And I am hungry. I am hunger. Hear me roar. And I did get to go to Starbucks. I don't go that often. Um, but it is a treat when I go. Um, I used to go all the time, but it's bad for my heart, especially the way I get it. Because I like to get a venti quad, so it already comes with two shots, so I add two more shots, and so which makes it a quad. I remember I used to drink so much Starbucks. Oh, that uh, it would make my hair follicles. Not my where my hair comes out. But I guess it's the hair follicles. They would make it sweat. My my scalp would sweat. I drink so much Starbucks. Then with four shots all throughout the day. Because I used to work over there for Westheimer and Post Oak, where that Barnes and Noble is, and the yeah, that's a 24-hour. Uh, is that the 24-hour Starbucks? I'm not sure. No, that's another one. Okay, we're done. I hope everybody has a good night. Night-night, Tutu.